So I've got some Sandforce 3 drives, or Sandforce 3, Sandforce 2281 drives that are going to need their firmwares updated. I've got a Kronos Deluxe from Mushkin. I've also got a couple of wildfires. The other wildfire is plugged into a SATA cable hanging off the back of this machine. And uh, so basically I want to switch from having two test benches to three test benches. So I'll have, instead of an AMD and Intel, I want to have a 2011 and 1155 and an AM3 Plus so that I can easily and quickly compare anything on any of the major platforms without swapping CPU coolers, etc, etc, etc. So um, now that they finally fixed the stability issues that people were having with some blue screens and whatnot with uh, the Sandforce SATA 3 drives, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to update these three drives, and then I'm going to... Uh, well, get my test benches set up. So I figured I might as well do a video about how to update the firmware on your SSD. So in this case, I downloaded the Patriot SSD updater. So I obviously got that one off the Patriot website. You want to run it as an administrator if you're using Windows 7 or Windows Vista. It scans for drives. You go ahead, you select your drive, you update the firmware. This all comes in, in a single pack. So it comes with the firmware as well as the release notes and the updater. So you just click open. Automatic restart may occur after this operation, etc, etc, etc. So there's a few other things that you have to factor in. Um, I tried this on an AMD chipset. This is a modern AMD chipset 990FX board, and this errored out after about half a second. So what I had to do was I tried switching to HCI mode. That didn't help. Uh, so I moved it over to an Intel board. This is a P55 board and now it's working with no issue. So only certain chipsets are going to be able to update the firmwares correctly. You do want to be in AHCI mode. So that is a factor as well. And other than that, I can't really think of anything. Wow, well, look at that. It's complete already. Hey, here's something interesting. Why don't we find out together if I can update a Mushkin Kronos using the Patriot Utility and the Patriot firmware because they are using the same flash. These are all toggle chip drives with uh, 2281 controllers. So as far as the actual hardware is concerned, they are basically identical. So let's see if the Mushkin drive will allow me to update it. I might have to grab the rescan for drives. I might have to grab the updater from the Mushkin site instead. Scanning for drives, please wait. Oh, look at this. Okay. Update firmware. Okay. Okay. Huh, look at that. Oh, no, it didn't work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's saying, you know, Basically, no, you're not allowed to do that. Okay, well, either way, my Patriot ones are updated, and I will update the Mushkin one after. And I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to say, so thank you for checking out my little video on how to update the firmware of your SATA 3 Sandforce SSD drive. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and completely random videos, too, sometimes. But not this one. This was a tutorial, in case you didn't notice.